this is my LED light. If you don't know, I already have a review of this on my channel. I'm going to put that video here. This was my ring light, my mini ring light. So I removed this one and then got this thing from the not shop and used it to hold it. Then this one, I got it from, my star got it for me quite like a year ago. It's like peg. And you can adjust this whichever way you want. So this is well, last week I was trying to fix my phone and it broke off. So I use this one to hold. So you want to stay tuned and see how I set. I don't have actual actual filming day my phone memory is really small so what i do is immediately i'm filming that video i'm editing that video and i'm exporting it then the next thing i do is upload it when i upload it i get my laptop and delete every clip from my phone so that i can have space to film more content so that is how my content day are always so my content day is once you film this video you edit it export it and upload it because if i delay any more minutes and continue filming i might not have space to export it so it then means that the other video i filmed is a waste of time for me i finished transferring the files that i wanted to transfer and i got space for filming but just when i was getting ready to film they took the light again i don't like filming with just this natural light because this light and my phone camera is not as strong again filming with natural light makes it look this dull so this is what it looks like filming with natural light just when i was about to set this and film the light went off but i'm still going to get ready in case they eventually bring the light so i'm using this my lock my lock ponytail I still have this video on my channel in case you haven't seen this video from like one year ago the light is back so this is what it actually looks like when I'm using the light I'm just trying to get this hair slicked down a bit I'm trying to get it slicked down a bit this is what it looks like when the light is back so I think I just want to like do my brows and then raw powder. That's it. Or should I just raw powder? I feel like I'm getting fat. So if you want me to make this tutorial again, just smash the like button because this is a go-to for every girl. Of course. Back to my setup. <laughs> So here is my setup. I have my laptop here where I will transfer all the files to whenever my phone gets filled up. Then I have my stand here. So this is my light. Because this light is too much for the eyes, I use this to cover up. This is where I will place my phone when I film. This is where I will place my phone when I film. Then I have my notebook over there. And then I have this thing I made from foil paper which helps the light reflection. It just helps the light reflection. I don't know what to call it but it helps the light reflection. And then I sit at that corner and make my video. So that is basically what my setup looks like. It's back to the channel so it just finished filming one of the videos though it did not go as i planned it because i could not find the scripts for that video this is my youtube book 
I don't know what happened. I don't know if I did not script it here or I just script it on my phone notes. I don't know where I scripted it. But I had that on my list of videos to film today. Only for me to check and I could not find the script. Uh, so that aside, I think I still want to film another video wearing this shirt. I don't Baby boy is feeling funky. He has been shouting and crying. I don't know why he's now acting as if he's playing. He has been shouting into this video since I started it. And yeah. So I said to try filming again. And I just got caught short that you have exceeded your limit. So I think I'm going to stop here. But I was able to film one good video that I liked. You know, I filmed one first and I didn't like it. So I had to start all over again. So now I've been able to film one good video that I like. And I'm hoping I could complete this one that I'm doing. So that I can move on to editing. Maybe transfer one. Transport one to the laptop. When I'm done with editing one. I will go and bring out the other one back. So that is what it has been. And Mr. Man has not allowed me any space to film. No space at all. So I put this cute thing here, just <laughs> just put this thing here like this. I don't even know what it looks like, but I just feel like, mm, let me change the background because I want to film another video and I'm wearing the same clothes, which is something I don't usually do. I change my shirt when I want to film another video, but now I'm just like, let me just do it like sharp, 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 sharp. Since the things I already have them written down and it's going to come out away. So that is it for the vlog. I think I'm going to end the vlog here because this vlog is becoming already long and I don't have space to continue it. If there's any other thing you want to see about my film setup or about my filming or about my in-depth um how I film edit and just leave it in the comment section. So this is me as a YouTuber. Uh this is my episode 2 of me as a YouTuber. Anything you want to know, just leave it in the comment section. I promise to answer in another episode of me as a YouTuber. So this is a series, me as a mom, me as a YouTuber, me as a student, me as a working mom, just me as everything, the different diversity of me. So this is my series and I hope you like it. So the first series is already up. This is going to be the second of each series. And I hope you enjoy watching the series. Don't forget to ask me any question that is related to me as a YouTuber, me as a mom, me as a mom in my 20s, me as a mom of two boys, me as a mom of two boys going through CS, just me as a person, trainer, whatever you want to know. Please don't forget to leave it down in the comment section. See you guys in my next one. Bye.